They're billing it as the greatest after party in the world, and that is why the girls are back in town, arriving on top of customised black cabs the Olympics' worst-kept secret is out. The closing ceremony will feature a one-off reunion of the Spice Girls, here pictured in rehearsals. Stamp, stamp, and there'll be more girl power on the bill. Jessie J has been rehearsing too. And even Kate Bush is rumoured to be taking part. She hasn't toured for more than three decades. From Bush to Boris, he'll be on stage two, handing over to the mayor of Rio, the next Olympic city. Eduardo said that he, he was worried I was going to <laughs> do something crazy in the, in the, in the closing ceremony. I, I can't completely guarantee that I won't do something crazy. <laughs> As with the opening ceremony, the emphasis again has been on saving the surprise. But with so many performers, this has proved a tall order. George Michael, for example, has been tweeting away about his involvement. Obviously a bit nervous, he says, but rehearsals are sounding great so far. Maybe he just wanted to be free. And then Muse posted this picture online. More than 4,000 people will be joining the bands on the night. Rachel Connolly knows the thrills of being involved. She got a part in the opening ceremony. It's only just now, once the Olympics is start, starting to come to an end, the closing ceremony is coming forward, that you start to realise how big it really was. There's lots of people with a lot of withdrawal symptoms, all texting each other, made a lot of really good friends doing it. When you're the show's director has been quoted as saying if the opening ceremony was the wedding, the closing will be the wedding reception. It will have quite a guest list. Nina Nanar, ITV News.